gender and formal versus informal work talking about work we need to realize that work can be formal and work can be informal formal work means an occupation or work which is performed at a specific place which is performed after formal training and learning a skill it is a source of earning an income of the person there is a specific workplace where the work is performed it is done during specific work hours and this work is primarily the identity of the person yani ek aisa kaam jiske liye insaan ko khaas training ki zarurat ho uske liye usko muavza milta ho uske auqat e kar jo hain wo mutayyan ho kaam karne ki jagah mutayyan ho aur uske sath sath muashre mein wo uski shanakht ho yani wo shakhs ek sipahi hai ya ek wakeel hai ya doctor hai engineer hai teacher hai kuch bhi ho sakta hai mechanic hai ye uski ek shanakht ban jata hai aur is kaam ko hum rasmi kaam ya formal work kehte hain informal work on the other hand is different some people in fact many people they work in informal settings or they work informally most women homemakers or the housewives they indulge in informal work their work is not paid for and there are no specific work hours or a workplace and it does not provide them with a, an identity uh, with reference to their occupation सो इनफॉर्मल वर्क वो काम है जिसको हम गैर रस्मी तरीके से करते हैं जिसके लिए कोई माहिदा नहीं किया जाता कि आप ये काम करेंगे इतना काम करेंगे कब करेंगे और कहाँ पर करेंगे तो इसका मुआवजा क्या होगा लोग इसको अपनी मर्जी के तहत या दूसरों की मर्जी के तहत सर अंजाम देते हैं और इससे हम देखते हैं कि जब इन लोगों के बारे में बात की जाए कि वो क्या काम करते हैं तो आमतौर पर कहा जाता है कि वो काम नहीं करते हालाँकि अगर हम देखें और काम के घंटों का शुमार करें तो हम देखते हैं कि ये लोग भी काम करते हैं और ये चीज़ सबसे ज़्यादा खातन के बारे में सच है दीज वन हु स्टे होम दे वर्क फॉर लॉन्ग आवर्स बट दे आर कॉल्ड नॉन वर्किंग वमेन और नॉन वर्किंग मेंबर्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी ऑन एवरेज एन एवरेज हाउस वाइफ मे वर्क फॉर एज मैनी एज एटी फोर आवर्स इन अ वीक ऑफन ट्वेल्व आवर्स और मोर इन अ डे at times from 5 am till midnight and on weekends also on the other hand a man on the other hand on average works around 8 hours a day 40 hours a week and usually does not work on the weekend but the woman is considered to be non working what we are trying to say here is that we should respect the work of a woman who is non working by this definition another issue that comes um, to mind is multiple responsibilities when women are working they are performing multiple dual or multiple responsibilities most working women may be involved in work at the workplace as well as at home handling multiple responsibilities may add to the stress and it may add, affect the well-being of these women another important aspect of gender and work and women's work is the issue of societal attitudes towards working women we see that if we want to empower women they need to work and we as a society need to encourage them and support them while on the other hand we see that uh, some people in the society do not have very supportive attitudes the non supportive attitude of the family and the people around them causes problems for women then there are prejudices about working women media also plays a part in that showing that working women are not good organizers they neglect their homes whereas a lot of research shows that women who work in their workplace they also work well at home and they organize their household affairs in a better manner uh then another problem that women ca- may come across is sexual harassment at workplace and violence against women so um the protection of women is required so that they feel safe at their workplace while traveling to the workplace or traveling back to home from the workplace the protection and the support from the state and the society is very important for these women